Gear Tunnel Run. I'm Becky Evans and this is the Stig's Top Secret Lair. It's the perfect place to celebrate the old school sounds of combustion by letting the Stig loose in a rock star band of cars that go all the way to 11. We're back at Catesby, the leaky old tunnel turned high tech test center, where we're letting Stig go wild in the world's loudest cars. For the full history lesson and to find out what makes Catesby so cool, head back to video one in this series. And this time we've lined up something guaranteed to shake some bricks loose. It's a full fat, no nonsense NASCAR. Nearly 900 horsepower of all American muscle, straight from the speedway and into our tunnel. In American motorsport racing, NASCAR is king. As one of the most watched US sports, it's up there with the NFL, basketball and baseball. At one point, it was thought there were over 75 million fans of NASCAR. That's almost one in four people. And you can see why they love it. A typical NASCAR race features 40 cars, stuck nose to tail at well over 200 miles per hour for three hours solid. On average, races are 400 miles long. The longest is 600. And unlike F1, it's not unusual for the lead to change 30 times or more in a single race as drivers bully their way through the pack. This one is a Dodge Charger and it's the real deal. Between 2007 and 2010, it raced in the Cup Series, which is the top tier of NASCAR and was driven by former champ Kurt Busch. Power comes from a 5.9 litre V8. That's actually 358 cubic inches if you like your engine sizes in American. In its racing days, it produced somewhere between 850 and 900 brake horsepower, all coming from a car that weighs about the same as a Ford Focus. And although this one's sponsored by a budget beer brand, to really understand NASCAR, you have to go back to the days when booze was banned. In the 1920s, alcohol was illegal in America. But even when prohibition ended, there was still a roaring trade in bootleg booze and moving moonshine was big business. To outrun the law, whiskey runners souped up their cars and drove like hell on dirt tracks and country roads. And it wasn't long before they started to race each other. In 1948, they got organized and NASCAR was born. Stock car racing took off and NASCAR never looked back. NASCAR evolved slowly. In 75 years, there have only been seven generations. Compare that to F1, where teams come with a new development every race. This is a Gen 5, otherwise known as the car of tomorrow. And like all other NASCARs of that period, it was really a hand-rolled steel body over a tubular chassis. Even the headlights were stickers. It was one of around 15 cars that were used that season. Different tracks require different cars, and sometimes chassis are quite literally bent out of shape by the biblical cornering forces. Thankfully, this one's nice and straight, as is our tunnel. So let's fire it up and see what it's made of. Let's go get the stick. So here's the plan. Stig's got two runs to make as much noise as possible. That's almost three and a half miles of rolling thunder. I know I'm gonna need my headphones for this. <laughs> 132 decibels. I'm pretty sure that's the max that this thing can go. That's almost like a space shuttle going off on your front lawn. This is a rolling start for Stig, so let's see how this one goes.
Let's see that again, shall we? And this time, we'll crank it up a notch. what you call shake and bake, baby. You've got to love American muscle. You want to hear that again? Me too. But before that, there's someone you need to meet. Firstly, if you're not wearing any headphones, get some on now. Trust me, you really need them for this bit. This is Mike. Inside Mike's ears are two microphones that record sound just like our own ears in 3D. He's shaped like this to mimic the way sound travels into and around our heads. So when you play it back, you hear what Mike hears as if you were actually here, listening with your own ears. This isn't just surround sound, it's sonic sorcery. It works everywhere I go. This side. That side. Are you freaked out yet? Now imagine what it sounds like when we put Mike in the passenger seat. To bring that tunnel run magic straight into your ears. You know the feeling. Windows down, drop a few gears, floor it, fill the noise. With Mike's help, we can recreate that for you right now. Let's head back to the Stig, and this time, you can go on board. Remember, headphones on. Get ready to ride, and I'll see you next time. Get tunnel run.